Hey guys, welcome back to yet another tutorial for some editing. My name is David Lillian, as you can see down here in the corner, designed by David Lillian. My wallpaper was made by me, and we are back for yet another tutorial on some editing. I own the account World Football Artwork on Instagram. You can check out my work there. Ton of stuff going on. I have giveaways a lot. I'm starting now to sell phone cases. If you guys want custom phone cases for any team in the world, just hit me up on Instagram and I will get that done for you. They're $15, I don't know, I think that's about nine pounds for all my uh, UK watchers. And I'm sorry guys, I don't really know around the world international currencies, but if you guys wanna buy a phone case, definitely hit me up. It's, um, I will make the phone case for whatever team you want and send it out to you international or club teams so just want to show you guys really quickly i didn't post this on instagram because it wasn't a square and i'm not a dortmund fan but i made this wallpaper just because i had a creativity just outbreak one night so i um made this thing and just just thought it looked pretty sick so uh, let me know what you guys think i really i really want to um to give away this psd also so We'll probably be doing contests pretty soon on my Instagram to give away a PSD. Maybe this one, maybe not. But yeah, definitely let me know what you think of this because I was really proud of it and I think it looks really professional. All right, so getting on to the tutorial. This is going to be another pretty complex tutorial. And I'm going to open up Photoshop. And the reason why I um, really didn't uh, do this whole thing is because it would just take way too long. And you guys would be put to sleep if I went here and did a video about editing for 45 minutes, it'd just be awful for you guys. So, or maybe not, I don't know. But I don't, look, I'm trying to build an industry for myself. I don't mean to be ranting here about, you know, you guys, but I'm trying to build a business for this. I'm trying to make some money off of this at this point. So I can't give away everything that I do. And I feel like YouTube can just be a gateway to you guys wanting to know more things and maybe trying to get involved in the future of buying a phone case, for example, which would, you know, really benefit me. And I thank you guys a lot, by the way, for your views and follows on Instagram. So definitely, you know, if you guys want a phone case, hit me up. If you guys want a wallpaper, hit me up. Um, and so what I did here is we're going to be doing another complex style of edit. And what I've done here is the last time I did a complex style of edit, I'll leave the um, link to that video in the description. But this one I've started and I did the background first. The other time I hadn't done the background and I had done some of the skin players that we're going to be using. But this time I just did the background first. Um, it's something that we, we can go through really quickly here, the layers, just to see how I did this. So let's just take all the visibility away on just about everything. So starting at the bottom, it's just a line brush running across the middle. Uh, second layer. I think that may actually be an empty layer. Yeah, I don't think that's anything. We can delete that. Second one is just a grunge texture that I have. Um, it's a pretty nice one. It's bluish tint, but you can change the hue to whatever color you guys want. Uh, I think this is another empty layer here. Got to fix my empty layers. Delete that. Uh, layer three, we got some dark blue. Um, oh, by the way, the grunge setting was hard light, the blend mode. On this blue sort of paint brush strokes thingies here, paint not really paint splatters but more like brush strokes they're all around here these are all brushes by the way and i set this to multiply so i set it pretty dark blue and then it made it really dark so i really like that um up here we just have a white splatter that is on multiply so it's not full uh it's not fully opaque and i really like that look uh just some white splatters and brush strokes here on the next layer and we're gonna throw some green on top of all of it and set the green to soft light. Everything else that I didn't show you guys was normal. So, now getting into the players that we're gonna be putting in this. Uh, this edit is gonna be of Kevin De Bruyne of Wolfsburg, or Wolfsburg as the Germans say. And let's get full screen here. All right, here we go. So let's get us started here. We're gonna be skinning these players. And I'll be honest, there probably are easier ways to do this, but we don't do things easy, but you know what? We're not going to use that picture. Let's use, I have another one for you guys. No, I don't. I lied. All right. It's going to be this one. Forget it. So it's going to be this picture. I apologize if I, if I do make some mistakes throughout this, I, it's not that I haven't been feeling well, but I just, these edits take a really long time and 
I can't make promises that everything's going to be perfect. So size of the file the way you want. Place it down. Head up here to Filter, Topaz Labs, and we're going to put a quick skin on this picture. And HDR Collection, Dynamic Pop. And we're going to take all the color out. The saturation needs to be at zero because the this picture is actually going to be overlaid by green. It's going to have green on top of it. This is not going to be the main picture, basically. Go to Adjust for Preset List. Head down to Psychedelic. Finishing Touches. Transparency. And I usually wing these skins if they're not too complicated. Let's go 55. Of course, Kevin De Bruyne, a lot of speculation. Could be going to Manchester City. I'm a United fan. I do not want that at all. But uh, United made some good signings this year. We got Schweinsteiger, got Schneider in this midfield. Let's go. So I think that will help us. Um, head over to Denoise. I know some of you guys who have awesome skins, way better than mine. You guys feel free to use those. They're probably a lot sicker than these. I just use these because I don't always use the highest quality pictures just because I kind of switched my account now to giving more of updates. This is strong point six. I kind of switched my account now to giving more just update stuff. Like I like to give, you know, current news. I wouldn't just do an edit of, say, James Rodriguez if Real Madrid haven't played a game in two weeks and just say, oh, James, he's so cool. I would probably do, you know, if James scored a hat trick, I would do an edit of James and say, did you guys see that James hat trick uh, last week? So, uh, yeah, definitely keep in mind current. If you guys request players, I may get them done if they do something cool, if they are popular. Um, Topaz Clean, I really like this, the way it's already set for me because I used the skin before. Strength 3. Oh, this is curly smooth, by the way. Strength 3, Threshold 0, Radius 8, Accent 3, Radius 2.84, Sharpness 1.59, Texture 0, Boost, uh, we'll set that down to 0, or well, as low as it can go, which is 0.25, and the size is 2. Click OK. And there we have our first skin picture of this edit. So what we're going to have to do now is, as you can see, this is under the green. If we took the green away, it would just look like that. But we got to keep the green over it. And head over to the eraser tool, and you just want to click and click OK. So now we can erase part of this Kevin De Bruyne, Kevin De Bruyne picture. And just go here. Maybe size down the eraser tool. Let's go 888. And make sure you're on that soft brush. You want to fade away these edges really nicely. Make sure you have no sharp edges here. So you want to make sure these are all gone. Just fade out his legs. It may be a little bit tough to get it right, but... Don't really want to attach to the corner, so we can size down the brush here to get a little bit more precise around his head. Uh, size that up to get this area. And you just want a little bit of the area around him, just to show that he's in a game and just not floating there in our edit. So that's pretty nice. I'm liking that. Slide that over a little bit. You can use the move tool at any time, but you can't always resize it. So definitely make sure once you place that file down, when you're dragging it in from your files, it, size it the way you want it now because you're not going to get to change it. All right, moving on now. Uh, we're going to go, we can go a layer above, empty layer, and head back down here. And I believe it's this picture, the one that we want to use. Yep, this is it. Um, cool action shot here. And we're going to size this up just a tiny bit. He's going to be overlapping on his legs, that is why we made this um, picture uh, a layer above the one that we just put in. And we're just gonna use the same skin. So, Topaz adjust. I actually gotta check what the transparency, 55, all right. HDR collection, dynamic pop, remember, saturation, gotta be at zero. Apply. Um, trying to think of other things to talk about here while I make this skin again, it's just gonna be the same one that we just used. Um, if you guys on Instagram want to, um, reach out to me, as I mentioned, the wallpapers, the phone cases, um, but I'm up for doing graphic design for websites or, you know, just anything to kind of make myself a brand. Cause I know I have a skill that, you know, not everybody can acquire and, or not everybody at least has at this point. So 
you know, I'm if you guys have any offers to make me for any kind of graphic design work that you want done, I would be happy to speak to you about that. Um, continuing here as we wait for Topaz Denoise to load up. Um, all right, there it is. And the nice thing about Topaz is that if you have a skin, if you're skinning a, if you're using multiple pictures and using the same skin, if you depending on which Topaz you go into, so clean here, it has the same settings that we just had, and I'm liking that, so we click OK. And there is our second skin picture. Same thing, eraser tool, you can click this thing and just fade away the edge. And make sure no straight edges. Get a little bit smaller here as we're going around his head. Too small. That looks nice. You can zoom in a little bit to see. Um, I think I'm going to be, as I mentioned, I think I'm going to begin doing a giveaway here. But I also definitely want to do a giveaway for my 100 subscribers. So I think I'm at about 61, I want to say, at the time of making this video. So thank you guys to anybody who has subscribed and viewed. And definitely if you viewed and liked it and haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It would be much appreciated. Um, and I want to do a giveaway for 100 subscribers. So when I get there... I think I'll give away a PSD or possibly even a free phone case um, customized. So definitely things to watch out for. Um, I am growing with this whole phone case and once again trying to make myself a little bit of an industry here. Entrepreneurship, never start too young. I'm 15. Oh, by the way, thank you guys for the awesome birthday wishes when I sent out that picture on July 26th, my birthday. Thank you guys. You guys are the coolest followers. All right. So as you can see, we just did the same thing with that bottom De Bruyne as what we did with the top one. And as you move it around, you can kind of see the spots that you want to get out. And I like that. So, <coughs> excuse me. Now, this is very important here. We're going to go back to the top layer and create an empty layer on top of the green. This is going to be the only layer that's going to be in full color. And... I think this is the picture. Whoa! What is going on with my Photoshop? No, no, no. No, that's not the picture. That's another Kevin De Bruyne picture. Nope. I get messed up. This is what I'm saying. I, I mess these things up so easily. Oh, no. We gotta Google it. Maybe not. Maybe I can find it back in my downloads. I feel like I saved it. That's Bastost. No. I'm scaring myself. I think this is it. Yes, we found it. Yay, hallelujah. All right. So we're going to want this to be all the way on the left here. And we're going to size it up so he basically stretches all the way up the side of the image. And, oh, too far. And, by the way, uh, I mentioned this in my previous videos. I try not to mention things that I've already mentioned. But... Definitely remember, if you guys have not seen my other videos, definitely watch them. They will help you with a ton of stuff. This is just one style. There are infinite styles. This is my artwork. This is your artwork. This is, remember, this is art. So, tons of more styles. Definitely explore your own styles. So, here we go. And we're going to use the same skin. The only difference is, is that we're not going to take out the saturation. So, I'm just going to go as quickly as I can. Dynamic pop. Apply. So, remember, no color zero here. Just for preset list, psychedelic. And okay, after that, remember you hit okay when you're done in a topaz. Apply if you want to continue to add more in that topaz. Gonna hit the denoise. And it's not the best quality picture, so what we can do is we can actually tone this down a little bit. Let's go to 50, that looks nice. We're still on strong denoise, strong JPEG. And wait for this to load up a bit. Oh, also, guys, sorry if I scared anybody. Uh, let me know who your favorite team is. I just want to know, like, 
what your guys' favorite team is. I'm a Man United fan. I'm a U.S. soccer fan um, as far as the U.S. national team is concerned. So let me know who you guys' favorite teams are. Let me know where you're from. Um, that would be really cool because I love, like, the whole international cultural experience thing. So let me know who you guys support and um, who your favorite player is because um, I definitely – I will – if I do tutorials, I'll just do them based on that. And I won't post them on Instagram unless they're really dope fire, then I might. But, you know, I, yeah, I definitely want to know uh, which teams and which players you guys like the best. So, once again, Topaz Clean. You can just scan around here using this um, navigator. And I like that. So we hit OK. And wait for it to load up. I've been just going super hyper speed here today. All right. Now. This is something totally new that I'm going to teach you guys. It's called a layer mask. Basically, it means you cut something but only add a one layer. So add a layer mask. And now go to Quick Selection Tool. And just like we've been doing in my other videos, we're just going to select everything around the player. Make sure you're on the Plus Selection Tool. Pixel size, whatever you like. We're going to include the ball in this one. And it's okay if it cuts out some of him because you'd rather it cut out more now because now we can easily now we can easily use the minus tool and just deselect it so we can get <coughs> excuse me whoa so we can now get all of our player in there um also i've been noticing an increase significantly in my likes recently on instagram let me know um i think that's what it is. I think I asked you guys. But yeah, let me know. Do you guys like the updates? Like how I say, would you rather me do an edit of somebody in the, I don't know, the Portuguese league who scored a hat trick in a, a derby match rather than an edit of Cristiano Ronaldo for just existing? You know, I mean, I want to keep up current news. Also, it's really fun learning about these guys. Like as I make these, I want to... Um, like, I, I love it if you guys read these captions. Like, I really do try to write these captions for you and try to sort of inform you on the latest news that I get off, you know, Bleacher Report or uh, the Telegram, the Daily Star, sort of for transfer rumors and such. Um, I try to only, I will try to only inform you guys on true rumors, on true transfers, if I can. Of course, as every football fan knows, transfer rumors are always just rumors um as is this one kevin de bruyne to manchester city and it's a little bit choppy but i think it should be all right uh just do one more scan make sure we get everything got to get the tip of his foot in there i am picky about this but i am trying to go extremely quickly yada 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 uh there we go x for cut command x sorry i forgot to mention that and there we go um, just one more thing to do. We're going to add an effect behind him. As, as you can see, when you slide them over, you only cut out the parts that were visible. So if you want, just to be sure, in case you want to move it, you can go use the hard brush tool, set the pixel size up a bit, and just take away whatever's on this side, slide it over, and then just take away a whole bunch on that side. Yep, there's more. All right, that should be good enough. So we'll slide them over here. And if you guys want to resize it, you can save it as a PNG. If you guys don't know how to do that, you take off the visibility of all the other layers. Ooh, that actually looks nice. I may have to use that later. But you take off the visibility of all the other layers, and then you would just have it with the, uh, the gray and white checkerboard behind him. And when you go to File and Save As, you would select Save As PNG. But we're not going to do that because we like the way this looks. Layer on top of the green. Actually, you know what? And this just shows how improvisational you guys can be. I'm going to take down the opacity of the green. It's on soft light. But we're just going to take it down because I want some of this blue to get exposed here in the background because I really do like that. Um because his main color here in this shirt pick is blue. So we're going to go 83. And empty layer above that, above the green. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick some dope brushes to throw behind him. 
I think I have an idea as to what I'm going to do. And I think it's going to be a neon green surrounded by a white. These brushes are absolutely sick. Orson Brushes 6. They are called, as you can see by the watermark there. Um, does anybody use those watermark brushes? I don't think anybody does. I've never used them. I don't intend on it. All right. So we're going to use like a neon green here to really make this pop. If you guys have seen on my page, I did an edit of Mexican national team star Andres Guadado, who just won the gold cup. So if you guys want to check that out, this edit is like extremely similar in style. Um, we're going to delete that. We don't think that looks too good. I just want to take the saturation down from this just a tiny bit. You can see the difference in the colors here because I think it's just too powerful. Um, you want to make it pop, but not pop too much. And that looks nice. And now we're going to add some white light behind him. And we'll just use a, a different brush just to mix it up. Make the brush size. Let's go 888. And so that just around the edges of the brewing, we have our white light. That looks pretty dope. I'm liking it. And just one more step before we are finished. Layer above. As you guys who have watched my videos, you do know that I like to do this. Um, layer above everything. Or you know what? We can... Um, yeah, we're going to keep that above everything. Go to the black and set everything. Whoop. Wipe it away using the paint bucket tool. Go to a soft brush and carefully... Or not so carefully, rather. Just brush away at everything. So now we have a slight fade around the edges. And what I found that is really cool, and now, all right, so I'm gonna interrupt my sentence for a little bit because as you can see, we have a line running across the top. I'm not sure which one that's from. I'm pretty sure it's from the main picture. So we're gonna go back to our layer mask and just go back in here and just take out this line. That's how easy it is to just remove stuff in the middle of an edit sometimes it's easy sometimes it's hard but as you can see i make mistakes like this all the time and i can't assure perfection so that's what you got to do you got to fix it as you go along so something really cool here that i learned is that if you have this little fade around the edge you just want to add a little extra flare to it what we can do is as we are fading the edge we're going to go to the paint brush tool or the brush splatter tool rather and or the brush spotter brush and we are going to use it as an eraser and it just looks so cool with these um just cool faded edges they're not fade well they are faded but they do have these uh these brush strokes in them which i just find really nice really cool and this brush splatter is definitely a cool one to use as you can see up here uh just beautiful i really like the way this turned out um, wasn't expecting it to turn out too great, I'll be honest with you guys. Um, so as you can see, the slight difference, you just have this little black around the edge. And what we'll do is, somebody today stole my edit. So just a tip for you guys. If you want nobody to steal your edit, try to put the watermark as close to the middle as you can. So I'm going to put it right dead smack in the middle of my edit. Size it down a bit. But now everybody knows that it's yours. WFA standing for, of course, World Football Artwork. All right. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really do hope it helped. Uh, remember, phone case is $15 plus shipping, 9 pounds plus shipping. Let me know if you guys want one. You can DM me on Instagram. You can shoot me an email. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a great day. And I will see you guys next time.